For years, the term hybrid has been used about cars that run both on electricity and fuel. And even though this market is growing very fast and is expected to last at least another 10 years, this prediction is not about that. Because during the Corona crisis, we have been forced to juggle between physical and digital attendance. Everything from going to church, voting, visiting inmates, even weddings or court proceedings, or things like video-based job interviews, even nightlife through Zoom clubs, had to be made possible in both a smaller physical version and a digital possibility to attend. This has led to an acceptance of, and I think a desire for, digital alternatives to showing up in flesh and blood. Whether it's at the doctor's office, in school, at meetings or at conferences. And for most of us, this has already led to a new hybrid work model with less time in the office and more time at home. Going forward, this has to be much better supported by remote work technology. So I predict an explosion of services launched in this area. If you want to see a full list of relevant tools, check out my previous article on the topic called A World-Class Toolbox for Remote Working. Due to Corona, we were forced to develop and to adapt new hybrid formats for all kinds of occasions. And now, it seems like they're here to stay. It's right now difficult to imagine a conference, for example, that won't have a digital access as a supplement or alternative. The same goes for business meetings. I think we have to get used to the fact that several meeting attendances always will be present through Zoom or Teams in the future. But I also see this leading to new innovations and new opportunities. I personally imagine that future digital conferences are going to feel more like participating in a live TV show, like Dancing with the Stars, led by several different hosts with different roles and assignments, shifting between scenes and audiences and providing a great alternative to being there live. Like when we choose to watch a football match or Formula One from the couch. It's not the same experience, but in some ways it provides us with a, an even better viewing experience and it's definitely more convenient. Some brands allow shopping to be done live from home, interacting directly with in-store clerks, showcasing, advising and preparing everything for your pickup in new buy online, pick up in store concepts. I will talk more about that when I get to my prediction about TV shopping on steroids. Universities are allowing for attendance in TED-like formats at a much lower price, sometimes even for free. Howard is one of the front runners in this field. Fitness classes on the online service Peloton can be attended live for maybe 30 people physically, but attended digital for the next 3000 and the instructors still get to see your performance and yell at you if you're too lazy or celebrate your life in the online community if it's your birthday or your ride number 100. I predict a huge future for hybrid formats and I urge you to start thinking about how you can serve your audience or customers across a blended physical and digital appearance.